Hello again. This third and final lesson will give you some practical insights on how to access and really work actively with hyperspectral data yourself. First, I will try to give an overview of the principal processing steps to get from raw data to a final map product. Based on that, I will introduce some common software and methods applied in hyperspectral data processing. Further, you will get to know different data sources for both imaging and point spectroscopy data, such as different spectral libraries or the PRISMA data portal. PRISMA is the hyperspectral remote sensing mission of the Italian Space Agency. Actually, in this lesson, you will learn how to access PRISMA data from both the archive as well as to apply for new data acquisitions. And finally, let's do some hands-on training. I'm sure you're all curious to learn how to start working with hyperspectral remote sensing data. To do so, we will use the free and open source Nmap Toolbox, a plugin for QGIS that was built within the Nmap project. By using the Nmap box, you will load and visualize a hyperspectral data set. Not only that, you will also explore pixel-based spectral responses of different surface materials and build, probably, your first spectral library.